Hello and welcome to the official catch-up. It's myself, Chris, and today we have put together a wee catch-up quiz based on the Lone League and the teams in it. It's something we've thought about previously. We're, we're probably going to do a, a bigger one that's going to incorporate the whole of non-league, obviously, like the West of Scotland, East of Scotland. Uh, this is just a wee tester to see how people feel about it. We're, we're unsure if people have got over the all the Zoom quizzes they've had to do over lockdown. We've not had a lot of episodes recently, mainly because, obviously, there's no football to talk about, but we will be back soon. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe because we are planning on doing a few live episodes. The episodes will still be our normal platforms as well, but yeah, definitely if you've not dropped a subscribe on YouTube, definitely do that. Quick shout out to our sponsors, the Soccer Shop Direct. You can find them on Twitter at the Soccer Shop D or on their website, the Soccer Shop Direct.co.uk for all your sporting goods needs. The way it's going to work today, it's going to be in like three parts. First of all, we're going to just focus on the Lone League slash the teams. Uh, then we'll look at some of the sort of cup competitions and then we'll end on a truer false. It's around 28 questions, so nothing too severe, just something to maybe pass the time or if you're missing football. Uh, hopefully it's something you enjoy and uh, or at the very least uh, learn a bit about the Lowland League. We'll give you around 15 seconds uh, to answer the questions. Some of them you'll probably know right away. Uh, some of them are a lot harder than than the others, basically, um, as, as some quizzes go. There is a timer that will probably get annoying after maybe two or three questions. We can get the countdown timer, obviously, because we don't want to get sued, so uh, apologies for that. It's the best we can do. But getting into the first segment, the league and teams, the first question is actually quite easy. So I will be surprised if uh, not everyone gets this right, uh, just to give you an idea of the time. So question one, what year were current Lone League team Gretna founded? A, 2007, B, 2008, C, 2009, or D, 2010? So that was probably the easiest question you're going to get. Obviously, the answer is B, 2008, hence Gretna FC, 2008. Uh, they do get harder. I just thought I'd chuck that one in there just so you're used to the times. Moving on to question two. Berwick Rangers are based in England, but what current East of Scotland team are also based across the border? A, Hoyk Royal Albert. B, Genefield Swifts. C, Tweedmouth Rangers. Or D, Dunbar United. So the answer is C, Tweedmouth Rangers. Tweedmouth is actually in the Berwick area. I think they actually play at Shieldfield Park uh, as well as Berwick Rangers. Hoyk is obviously in Hoyk, which is in Scotland. Genefield are based in Perth and Dunbar. United are obviously in Dunbar, which, are, which is all Scotland. Moving on to question three. Doogie Samuel of Spartans is the longest seven manager in the Lowland League, but who is the second longest? A, Chris Anderson of Vela Leven. B, Craig McKinley of Cumbernauld Colts. C. Ricky Waddle of Caledonian Braves or D. Dorian Agunro of Edinburgh Uni? The answer is D. Dorian Agunro of Edinburgh Uni. He, uh, he's been there since 2013. The rest have been at their clubs uh, since 2015. Question four. What is the highest finish the University of Stirling have achieved in the Lowland League? A, second, B, third, C, fourth, D, fifth. Maybe surprising to some, but the answer is A. Uh, Stalin Uni were second, or runners-up, if you will, to uh, Spartans uh, in the inaugural season of the Lone League. Moving on to question five, or firing through them. Who was the first club to gain promotion from the south of Scotland by winning it? 
A Free Rovers, B Dalbeaty Star, C Edisport Academy slash Caledonian Braves, or D Hoyk Royal Albert. The answer is C, uh, Edisport Academy slash Caledonian Braves. First and only so far of the South and Scotland teams to gain promotion by winning it. Freevor kind of invited into the league, similar to Dalbeaty Star. Hoyke were never part of the South of Scotland, they're part of the East of Scotland. Question six, which team holds the record for most goals scored in a Lowland League season? A, Edinburgh City, B, East Stirlingshire, C, East Colbride, or D, Kelty Hearts? The answer is B, East Stirlingshire. They uh, scored 107 goals in the 2016-17 season. Quite an incredible amount of goals to score in a league season. But yeah, they hold the record currently for most goals scored in a season. And continuing on in question 7, which player holds the record for most goals scored in a season? A, Andy Rogers, B, Nathan Austin, C, Craig Malcolm or D, Ross McNeil. The answer is A, Andy Rogers in the same season uh, that East Stirlingshire scored the most amount, the 2016-17 season. He scored 41, which I think Nathan Austin might have got to last season had football not been stopped due to COVID. Uh, both now at Kelty Hearts, obviously, Andy Rogers joining Kelty in January. Question A, how many League 2 playoff finals have East Colbride been in? A, 0, B, 1, C, 2 or D, 3? The answer, uh, unbelievably, is one. Uh, during the 2016-17 season, they got to the League 2 playoff final. They lost to Cowden Beef on penalties. During the 2018-19 season, they did reach the playoffs, but not the final. Uh, they obviously lost to Cove Rangers, who got promoted. Bit of a different question, this one. Question 9. In terms of distance, which two lonely clubs are the closest to each other? A. Spartan Strollers. B. Strollers Edinburgh Uni. C. Spartans Edinburgh Uni or D, Gretna, Berwick Rangers. Well, if anyone's actually been to the grounds, you would know it is uh, Spartans, Civil Service Strollers that are closest. Uh, hopefully no one said Gretna or Berwick Rangers, they're, they're obviously miles apart. Moving on to question 10, how many managers in total have guided their team to the Lowland League title? Uh, this isn't a trick question, we are including Barry Ferguson, so there's one for you. So the choices are A4, B5, C6 or D7. So the answer is B5. Of course, Gary Jordan won it twice with Edinburgh City. Uh, Dougie Samuel twice with Spartans. Martin Lachlan won it with East Kilbride, as did Stuart Malcolm. And of course, Barry Ferguson, so that makes five. So we'll be moving on to another section now. We'll be testing your knowledge with cup competitions. And the first question is, how many times have Bonesh United won the Scottish Junior Cup? A once, B twice... C three times or D four times. (laughs) 
The answer is C. Bowness United have won the Scottish Junior Cup three times. Once uh, in 1948, once in 1976 and once in 1984. They have been uh, uh, runners-up three times also. So the, the, the final appearance is six altogether, but they have uh, won the Scottish Junior Cup three times. Question two, Kelly Hearts have reached the Scottish Junior Cup final twice, both times ending in defeat. But which current West of Scotland team beat them 1-0 in their first final appearance? A. Auchinleck Talbot, B. Kilwinning Rangers, C. Glen Afton, or D. Hurlford? So the answer is B, Kilwinning Rangers in 1999. Kilwin and Rangers got the 1 0 win over Kelty Hearts at Furhill Stadium. Uh, Kelty lost the second final to Lunlifco Rose, I think it was in 2006. Uh, just a wee side note, but uh, I know my stepdad went to that game, but I, I missed out for some reason. I think I might have had a game or I was with a, the girlfriend as these things go. Question 3 How many Scottish Junior Cup finals have Bonnie Rigg appeared in? Uh, not how many they've actually won, just how many times they've managed to reach the final. A, twice. B three times, C four times, or D five times? The answer is B three times. They won it twice, uh, once in 1966 and 78, and they were runners up in 72 moving on to the scottish cup now question four the furthest a lowland league team has reached in the scottish cup is the fifth round or last 16 how many teams have achieved the feat as a lowland league club so basically don't think about berwick rangers or um, east Orange or how far they've got uh, previously it's only as or only when they were a lowland league club a1 team b2 teams c3 teams or d4 teams The answer is C3. The Spartans in 2014-15 uh, lost 1-0 to Berwick Rangers in a replay. Obviously Berwick not a lone league team at that point. East Kilbride in 2015-16 they lost 2-0 to Celtic. A uh, much publicised game. And more recently obviously BSE Glasgow in 2019-20 they lost 4-1 to Hibernian which I'm sure a lot of people will remember. Question 5. Gallifrey Dean Rovers reached the third round of the Scottish Cup for the first time during the 18-19 season, but which other Lowland League team knocked them out of the competition? The options are A, BSE Glasgow, B, Kelty Hearts, C, East Kilbride, or D, the Spartans. The answer is C, East Kilbride. Uh, East Kilbride ended the Dreams of the Gala there. It was a very close game, I think. Uh, East Kilbride won it 1-0, if I remember correctly. Question 6. Rowan Alexander, as manager of the original Gretna, was beaten in the 2005-2006 Scottish Cup final by which club? The options are A, Aberdeen, B, Dundee, C, Hibernian, or D, Hearts. I'm sure a lot of people might remember that. The answer is D, Hearts. Uh, Dundee were actually beaten by Gretna in the semi and Hearts beat Hibs uh, in the semi-final as well. Question 7. The Sparrens and East Kilbride hold the record of South Challenge Cup wins, but how many have they won each? So A2, B3, C4 or D5?
They have both uh, won the Challenge Cup three times. Spartans won it three times in a row um, in earlier seasons. And East Kilbride are the most recent champions, having beat uh, Bonnie Rig Rose in the 2018-19 season. So rounding up our cup questions, question eight. Who were the first winners of the Lowland League Cup? A. Spartans, B. East Kilbride, C. Edinburgh City, or D. University of Stirling? The answer actually is University of Stirling. They beat Preston Athletic uh, to win the first Lowland League Cup. So our final section, hopefully no one's fallen asleep, we're on to true or false, and it's just some statements uh, and uh, no multiple choice, basically, just answer true or false. So first one, the Spartans were formed by ex-players of Edinburgh University. That is true. The Spartans were formed in 1951 by ex-players of Edinburgh University, like formed the team up of graduates. Question two, listen carefully to this one. Annan Athletic, along with eight other clubs, have won the South Region Challenge Cup. It's false. Only seven clubs, including Annan, have won it. Question three. Dalbeaty Star have won the South of Scotland League the most times. It's false. Stranraer Reserves and St Cuthbert's have won it the most times, I think they've both won it 16 altogether. They'll be have won the South of Scotland 11 times. So a wee bit behind in terms of league titles. Question four, Edinburgh University have never beaten the University of Stirling in the Lowland League. Unfortunately for Edinburgh Uni, it is true, Stirling Uni do have a fantastic record against them. There's been more sort of draws of late, but they have never beaten Stirling Uni in the Lowland League. Question 5. Gallifrey Dean Rovers were formed by a merger of two clubs. It is true, obviously, uh, one club being Gala Feridin and the other being Gala Rovers, formed in 2013 to make Gala Feridin Rovers. Question 6. Vale of Leafin were not founding members of the Lowland League. It's false. They actually were founding members of the Lone League. Question 7. Former Celtic and Scotland international Jackie McNamara was once a youth player with Cumbernauld Colts. It's true, as was Derek White. Interesting wee bit of history, that, from uh, Cumbernauld Colts. Question 8. Bonus United were in the same conference in the east of Scotland as Bonnie Rig Rose during the 2018-19 season. It 
It's true both were in Conference B. Bonnie Rig Rose obviously went on to win it and uh, Bones were uh, runners up. Question 9. Civil Server Strollers won the South Challenge Cup by beating Cumberland Colts in extra time during the 17-18 season. All that is true, but they didn't beat Cumbernauld Colts, they beat BSC, so overall answer is false. And finally, uh, the most goals in a lone league match was 12 when the Spartans beat Selkirk 11-2 back in 2013. So this is just the test who's falling asleep. Uh, obviously, 11 plus 2 does not make 12, so it is false. Uh, that wasn't a mistake by me. That is true that uh, Spartans beating Selkirk 11-2 is the most goals in a lower league match, but the number I mentioned, 12, is not the right number. It's, of course, 13. So hopefully you enjoyed that, learned a wee bit about the lower league. We obviously want to thank our sponsors, want to thank everyone that listens in. I know a lot of people have, have been missing the podcast. Uh, we just don't want to talk for the sake of talking but we will be back soon to discuss all the latest developments obviously with um, the restarts and League 1 and League 2 and everything that's going on there but yeah as I said appreciate all the support and we'll be back soon (laughs) 